Hello everybody, my name is Bloody Marshall and welcome back to another video once again. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just hit 1,000 subscribers. In the grand scheme of things, this is a very insignificant number to a lot of people, um, especially YouTubers who watch me and are bigger than me. And for anybody like Samuel or Parlo or Whispers, actually, I don't know why I said Whispers, but anyways, anybody that's bigger than me, this number doesn't mean anything. But for someone who has had nothing and has only worked on this channel for the last three to four years, or actually it's four years since I've been doing this since 2019, Ladies and gentlemen, I don't really know the words to say to you all. Thank you is actually a better something I can start with, all right? Thank you to every single person that sat there and pressed the subscribe button. And it means a lot more than any of you could ever understand. But obviously, I'm still sick at the moment, but... This literally just makes it all worth it. Now, mark my words right now. It may take me 10 years. It may take me 20 years. I've got a lot of time, but it doesn't matter how long it will take me. I will reach 1 million subscribers one day. Now, if you were here before that, thank you and um, enjoy the ride, I guess. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to go ahead and cap off all of the joy, all of the great feelings you're going to have other than watching this video, because it'll be a good one. Today, we're bringing up Kira the Wolf. Now, you're probably thinking, bloody, I thought you quit making fun of furries a long time ago. Haven't you fucking grown up? Haven't you moved, moved on from the fact that people sometimes just want to do what they want to do in their lives? It has nothing to do with you. Well, this time, it doesn't have anything to do with me. Uh, staying true to the fact that I used to make fun of furries, but ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be warranted today. When I make fun of Kiro the Wolf, it brings me joy, it brings me, it brings me a certain feeling I can't even describe. Because Kiro the Wolf, despite many furries that I've made fun of in the past, most of them were pretty harmless in what they were doing. It was mostly just they were cringe, maybe their content was kinda shit, who knows? But when it comes to Cure the Wolf, he did not take the liberty of going down the cringe route and staying to that. No, he turned it into a full-on illegal situation and made it into something that is extremely, extremely disgusting. Now, if you don't know who the Cure of the Wolf is, just, just listen to this. If you want to get a more in-depth situation, just go ahead and look up Cure the Wolf. There has been an abundance of documentaries made on Cure the Wolf. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why did you make this video then? Now, there's this very, very prime reason why I'm making this video. Well, first of all, let me just explain who Cure the Wolf is. Cure the Wolf is a gay furry YouTuber, all right? A gay fur YouTuber. Okay, that's not really that bad. However, what is bad is what they did and what we later found out. See, there's a couple of chat logs that leaked out that suggested that this person had possibly killed and fucked a dead animal. Now, this is something very, very serious. And it was a very serious allegation. And one that should be taken very seriously. Kira the Wolf responded to these allegations by making a complete video, making themselves look like a complete retard. Once the leaks started flying around on Twitter, the police got involved right away. My whole plan was to cooperate and let the police work and let them announce that I was innocent because this case seemed like a no brainer. I thought the police would interview me, announce that they didn't find anything, proving the accusations wrong. I did go- With that being said, the police ran through their entire apartment in which Cure the Wolf did not like whatsoever and the police did not find a single trace of anything. This is a primary point that Cure the Wolf would like to use whenever somebody would bring up the fact that they're a fucking creep. Cure the Wolf would say, well, the police came into my house and they didn't find anything incriminating, so I must be innocent. If I really did all the bad things you guys were saying I did, then I would be in handcuffs. Someone called the police, accused me of having illicit material on my computer, which is a felony. 
If this would have been true, I would not be here talking to you today. I would be in jail. After these allegations came out and Career the Wolf made this long video rambling on about random nonsensical bullshit, trying to make themselves look innocent, they did not post that much whatsoever. Now, effectively, they had been deplatformed and nobody would ever, ever watch them again. They were in the dirt where they belonged. Until, much recently, Cure the Wolf came back and redisguised themselves as a fursona called Radiance and instead focused on random shit-talking videos. And I forgot to mention, I said didn't post as much. They still posted after all of these allegations. Now, with, when it came to these videos, it was kind of funny because most of these videos were riddled with comments just talking about the fact that Cure the Wolf is a zoophile and is extremely disgusting. And it was very comedic to watch people just completely shit all over everything Cure the Wolf was trying to do when it came to making videos. Now, Radiance was a new persona that Kiro liked to put on, and in instead of making uh, the more IRL videos, they focused on, like, VR furry videos, which is kind of lame and retarded, and I don't get why people make that type of content, but hey, be my guest. But that's not my problem. If it was just some other furry that just wanted to make VR furry content and talk about random bullshit, I would care zero, absolutely nothing. I wouldn't give a fuck, all right? I wouldn't care. But since it's Cure the Wolf who's done such these most disgusting deeds, and since they're probably still trying to get a platform, I wanna actually kill. Now, I'm actually not gonna do that, but ladies and gentlemen, Radiance hasn't uploaded in 11 months. Now, that does not mean that they are completely gone from the face of the internet. I mean, plenty of people have left for 11 months and came back. But my problem is, we never know when they will. And ladies and gentlemen, when somebody does something and gets away with it, they're gonna do it again. So, I'm not saying that Kira the Wolf has done anything yet. I have no evidence to prove that. What I'm saying is, the fact that no other YouTuber has come out, big or small, has come out and said that Cure the Wolf has returned to the platform, even though this is a lot later after that, the fact that nobody has talked about this is kind of worrying. That just shows and is probably kind of encouraging to Kiro that, hey, nobody's talking about me, nobody's really worried about me, maybe I should do the exact same thing I was doing before. And as the things I mentioned before, obviously we don't want Kiro to fucking do that again. Now, with that being said, the, men the things I mentioned about Kiro and the things they did is the tip of the fucking iceberg, ladies and gentlemen. Watch any other video about Kiro the Wolf's initial backstory and the initial lore, and you'll find an entirely disgusting rabbit hole. So actually, I say stay away from it, matter of fact. It is possibly the worst case in YouTube anything I've probably covered on this channel. And it's probably the least in-depth I've covered since there's so much information, details, and stuff like that already out publicly. And I'd just like to add, Kira the Wolf continues to deny the allegations of him yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was just me kind of ranting about how nobody really talked about when Cure the Wolf came back. I mean, it's kind of counterproductive to what it is, just let them die in silence, but if you let them stay in silence, they're going to do exactly what they did before again. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bloody Marshall. Thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I shall tell you, me and an acquaintance known as Koask, we used to, we were in a call and he was planning on making a video like I paid for Kira the Wolf's Patreon. And during the time they had your equipment, you were still uploading. So don't you fucking lie and tell your audience that you couldn't upload. Cause you could. I'll check some screenshots on screen right now of Patreon posts. During the time that you had all your equipment taken away. Well, why the fuck are you lying for? Why are you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying.